What up, Starlight Aquatics? What's going on on this beautiful Sunday? Well, not so beautiful Sunday. We actually got a tornado warning. But uh, anyway, um, I have a new uh, thing that I do with my my Powerhead uh, bullet filter that I showed you guys in a previous video on how to build. And it's cheap, easy, DIY check the water out and the video where i was talking um what was it that i was what was that video about oh yeah the uh feeding video where i gave these guys some uh a little bit of shrimp um uh, the water was just cloudy and that was because i took up a big plant i uh you know did a little bit of cleaning and whatnot and uh and my water even though it was clean, it was still a little dirty, you know, because it just had stuff in the uh, waterway. So what I did was I got one of those big brisk uh, bottles and I swapped out my bottle, reusing my cap. Obviously, I told you guys you only have to make a cap once. You know, got my rubber band tied up over top of the, uh, you know, holding it on so it don't let go. But, uh... Use some uh, polyfill. It's like uh, same stuff you get in pillows. It's cheap, easy to to make. Uh, the spot. It's more. It's like ninety eight percent, ninety nine percent more efficient than uh than sponges. But uh, check it out, guys. There's my beautiful babies. You can see them uh. A lot better today when the water's clear that's my blood blood pigeon wild heckle and mr. blue what's up buddy such a gorgeous fish but check this out all I did was still with my rubber band and I'm gonna get a little shot up underneath it because I got to lean way down. I used a brisk bottle for this. The brisk iced tea, the big one. And I, you know, I cut cut off the end. <clears throat> I uh, took my lighter, uh, melted over so it's not sharp. You know how I said melt on the, hold the inside and it kind of curls it in. And then you just work your way around. Use your, uh, your little bit of netting, your rubber band, of course. And uh, I just stuffed a bunch of polyfill in there. And then I put my biomedia on top. See how it's uh, it's sucking up all the nasty stuff from the, the water. If you look at some of the, uh, like the video before, you'll notice how dirty. And I do mean the water passage was dirty. And I mean... This is the this is the one um, I know uh, one of you guys had a question about uh, keeping turtles, and uh, I like I said you know if you got questions hit me up I will I will help brother out or sister out and <laughs> we're uh, we're here for everybody, but uh, I put a bunch of polyfill I, I had it from uh, an old pillow it's undyed unchemically treated. You know, you got to make sure that it's uh it's a clean kind. But I stuffed a whole bunch of that in there and and then I had my uh my biomedia on top, put that bad boy around, wrapped her up, hooked her up over there. Bam. This thing moves 303 gallons an hour. And it shoots 5. Point, what is it? Like 5.5 feet or something like that. This is a uh, this is a four foot tank, but you see, bam! It's sorry about the light, but it just slams it across there. Good flow. You turn that bad boy on max, let it jet out, sucks all that nasty stuff up in, gets it all up in there. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to let it run and then I'm, I'm going to change it out. You can change this stuff. You can. The best thing about polyfill, guys, is you can get it cheap. You can get it from Walmart. You can get it from any 
replace, you know, an old pillow that you have that you might not need, you know, as long as it don't smell like it has anything on it or, you know, dyes or chemicals or whatnot, uh, you haven't thrown it in a washing machine or anything like that. Um, you could go get a cheap pillow and you could have this stuff last you a long time. And, uh, the best part about it is, is you can grab this stuff. You know, I had it on, uh, I tried it out on the smaller bottle and that stuff looked, yuck, yicky nasty uh, you can see how it's starting to almost uh change you know what i mean change that color that's all the nastiness coming in it's getting trapped in there going through my bio media i give a little bit of room you know for the uh passageway to kind of like let this stuff kind of like flicker up and stuff because if you cut it back a little bit it, it like moves a little bit but uh other than that uh I put a little bit in that bottle, and that stuff looked nasty. That's how much it sucked up through the bottle and uh, and was cleaning the tank. So I said, why not go bigger? Hell, why not, right? So knowing me over here, I grabbed the biggest damn bottle I could find. That brisk iced tea, baby. I grabbed one of those bad boys. I chugged that some bitch down. Cut off the label and I made me another one. So uh those bottles definitely worth definitely worth everything to uh save your bottles. Um uh, best part is don't have to reuse cuz uh if you use like a Coke uh bottle top or anything like that, a Pepsi bottle top or whatever, um, once you put the hole in it and all that, you can reuse that top. So that top has been on many bottles because I'll change these bottles out too. I'll get another, you know, clean it out, make a new one because, you know, the plastic gets nasty and whatnot. Change that out too. This stuff, um, you know, you can change it out as much as you want. It gets dirty, take it out. And then notice when you take that out to clean your bottle and then, and then fill it up with uh, fill it up with uh, water in your uh, sink and shake the hell out of it. And you're letting uh, you're trying to clean up all your uh, all your uh, substrate or your uh, I'm sorry your uh, your bio media. Then uh, you know you're you're taking all this and you're throwing it away. But you're saving your sub uh, your uh, bio media because you know that stuff stays good forever. So when you uh, literally like get rid of all this old uh polyfill or filter floss as some aquarists call it and you fill it up with water and you shake the hell out of it and you notice all the water's nasty and 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 you and you're letting the water out and then you fill it up with hot water and you keep doing it until it kind of looks like it's somewhat uh a nice color again it's not all nasty nasty um you know then you put some more po uh polyfill in filter floss uh, wrap it up again, you're good to go. But uh, once again, if you guys want to uh, bring your tank to a beautiful crystal clear, almost looks like they're floating. Gorgeous. And these little rascals, I tell you what, they love to poop and eat and poop and eat. And they uh, they'll constantly on the move constantly on the move looking for stuff but uh they kick up a lot of stuff but if you uh if you make one of these like i said guys you will be more than happy with the results i did however get rid of that one plant as i said and i have my grass growing it is looking good so far this is in the eco complete mixed with uh, pool filter sand. This pool filter sand was in my tank for a long time, so it's definitely more than uh, doing its job. Uh, I put the Eco Complete in because it has uh, nutrients and all that straight out of the bag. Gives uh, the plant something to grab onto. Everybody knows sand is a little bit of a um, hard thing to keep plants down in. You know, it wants to always kick up or. You got little guys like that doing this all the time and big old tail flopping into it. Next thing you know, you got your stuff all up in the, all up in that onesie. 
see a little bit of grass I guess came off but uh but other than that guys this is Starlight Aquatics say hi girl don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell I appreciate you guys these guys are one of the most beautiful fish that I've ever chose to keep but at the same side of things uh, one of the most enjoyable keeping discus is not hard guys so um, like I said hit that notification bell hit the subscribe don't forget to miss out don't miss out <laughs> don't miss out on any upcoming videos guys I appreciate you much love to the aquarium community and this is Danny signing out Peace.